Would you look at it? That's just bound to see it. That's the fanciest sticker I ever seen. That's a big sticker, y'all. That's a good size sticker. Man, we just got some of these in the mail, and I'm impressed with them. I've already got one on my fridge at home. I'm gonna put one on my truck. I slapped one on the in the office window inside the warehouse at the <laughs> apparel. Get some stickers. Some stickers. Not working on Earl's truck till tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some stuff for the house today. Gotta run to Ace Hardware, get some filters for the house. Gonna go get this truck washed. And I picked up a couple of jerry cans from Sportsman's Guide. Uh, I think they're like 26 bucks a piece and then I got the spout for them. Just so I have some extra fuel on hand for, uh, who knows? Y'all should have a plan. I'm not saying anything's gonna go bad or go wrong. You should have a plan. You know, I've got some, I've got about eight weeks worth of food. I got about 20 gallons worth of water. I've got about 20 gallons worth of fuel. I got a med kit, a couple go bags. Uh, obviously I've got my firearms, ammunition. The world's not coming to an end, but it's definitely not going to affect me if something goes crazy. I'm not gonna let it. See what happens. Well, what do you think? Not running perfect, but it's running a heck of a lot better than it was. Like butter. What do you think? You want to try? Drive? Y'all gotta get in now. I'll drone you. Drive good? Yeah, I'll film you and drop man. Feel feel Look okay? Look in the sunshine. I mean, <laughs> I put it different. Wow. I think I might cry. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. God. I don't, it hadn't sunk in how long this has been in the shop. Up, yo. See if we can't find some Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> or some Rush. <laughs> yeah, or some Rush. Get some lunch. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's not far. It's just yeah. Okay. It's, it's, uh, FedEx man's coming. The FedEx man coming. <laughs> Ranger catching us. Is it? I don't know. Okay, damn. I'll just go slow.
We got it. Yes, we do. <laughs> Burn my neck. <laughs> that was, uh, I need a new coil. I do too. I mean, I have, I have new coils. I just don't, uh, I'm lazy. I, I need one too. Got something to tell you here. Butterell's truck. You know what? Let's not say it. Yeah. Let's get some comments. I know we've got some folks. <clears throat> I've already told a couple of you guys, uh, a couple of you mechanics, so don't respond. What are some of the issues we're having? We're, 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 it's getting, it's get, the upper radiator hose is holding a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. We've got loss of power. Loss of power, it's missing bad, it keeps fouling number five. It pops and misses on idle. We can't make it idle for longer than just a few seconds. And it runs good after you get it up into the power, into the RPM range, but at idle it just won't do it. But we're also running on five. Yeah. when you get into the throttle so it's kind of deceiving <clears throat> because when you first take off you're like okay it's got a little little bit of tuning issues or something like that but uh we've come to the conclusion that it's something more so comment below if you think you know what it is it's the one thing we didn't replace on this truck i want to see how how our how our risky business folks have been paying attention to the truck rebuild I'm, my mind is in circles now i've read so much about this silly truck i mean the bad news is it's gonna take us a little time. The good news is y'all get to see it. We're gonna fix the problem and then the series is gonna pick back up from there. Be putting the body panels on and stuff as planned. We'll have some of it on uh, our channel as far as the funny, you know, us being goofy stuff and then we're gonna have a how-to in there somewhere that will help other guys out that have this similar problem because it is a very common engine and it's probably a very common problem that we just didn't, we overlooked in the start we knew we should have done it but we didn't yeah hindsight's 2020 so that's that what do you think about that executive order that he just passed yesterday stating that you can't call it the china virus you can't call it the wuhan virus he literally used an executive order to make sure that people don't call it the chi I mean, if you don't see what's going on here, he is so deep in China's ass. If, yeah, if you can't see what's happening, it, you just, I don't know what, there's no help for you. But you have to look at what's happening and be like, man, I voted for somebody that is putting America second. Second, maybe third. Here's, a, here's another uh, example of just it's costing the american taxpayer so far 500 million dollars to keep 25,000 troops or whatever it is around the capital okay that's our money that's our building if you had 80 million votes okay 80 million then you factor out all the children all the people who can't vote didn't vote whatever you know what do we got in the united states 300 some million yeah. if so. if that's the case you have the majority yeah. So what are you worried about? If you right. got 80 million votes, right. why are you surrounding the capital in Washington? You, you've militarized the capital of our country. Yeah. There's so much. There's so much to talk about. We can't even. We can't even begin to scratch the surface. This can't be. <laughs> it, it, it just can't. Oh, it he, can. he, he, he. You can't sign something that says I can't call it the China virus. Come after me. Come kick my door in. Yeah. I, I mean. You know, everybody's got like their worries about gun control and this and that. I'm, I'm past that. They're never taking mine. I'm worried about th these kind of actions that are making it so you can't even say that you disagree. Or you won't work. Yeah, or you won't work or you can't go to the grocery store or, you know. I mean, it's coming. All these little things. Your ideas are not within the realm of what they want. Yeah. And that's scary. I don't care who you are. If you're a Democrat, that should be scary. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, it's not just Republicans. It's people that just have, hey, I want to go to work. I want to enjoy my life. And I just want to, you know, I want to own a truck, a house, and, and go about my business. Those people are being attacked. People that don't have any political affiliation. He's moving all the jobs back to China. He's letting everybody come through the border. Why? Why is that? Why is that okay? Trump had everything in order, man. Yep. And they, they, and then China knew this was, we, China knew Trump was gonna win. 
This is my opinion, and I don't care, this video will probably be taken down. China knew Trump was gonna win, because everybody loved Trump. And I don't care, you know, there was no way that Biden got 80 million, more, he got more votes than Obama, come on. Yeah, that, 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 that's, he didn't even campaign. But my opinion is China saw, you know, they're like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna send a virus out. Everybody's gonna get sick, the whole world. They knew that the Democrats would take this and weaponize it against the American people and they could get their puppet back. They didn't only get their puppet back, uh, they had to cheat to do it because the real American people do not have the ideas of AOC and Biden and, and Kamala. Yeah, poor, poor AO Smollett. Oh yeah, she, they were banging on the door. She didn't know what, she thought it was the end of days and then to find out she's in a different building. <laughs> Come on. Aren't y'all proud of your leaders? Starting this week off in a fog. Headed up to the farm, fix wildflower, hopefully for the last time for a few months at least. Get this regen problem figured out, uh, swapping out the bellows we didn't have while I was down in San Antonio. Then I gotta head over to Granger's house, uh, have a look at his New Holland tractor. He's got a bit of a hydraulic leak. That's what's on the agenda today. We're going to do a video shoot in Nashville, and then we're gonna, gonna do a little YouTuber tour. So you'll get to uh, follow along with all that. Should be fun. Ron's back here working on the uh, regeneration deal. We're taking Wildflower. So I'm getting some bunks ready, just like I did for the Whistling Diesel video shoot. This here is where I sleep. Still foggy as all get out out here. Let's see what's happening with Ron. See, the, the advantage of being skinny once again. How's it going in there, Ron? Almost, uh, almost done. Nice. Get the uh, brand new bellows in there. All right, wildflowers all fixed up for now. I think it's pretty pretty well uh, fixed up though. Just a couple minor leaks at this point. Hopefully we everything goes good. Gonna head over to Granger's house now. Uh, check out that tractor. I'll uh, see you over there. All right, I'm over here at Granger's house. Fixing to find out which hose is leaking. I don't think he's home. I'm gonna uh, nose around here and see what I can't find until he gets here. Granger showed up, showed me where the problem was. It just turned out to be just a loose, a loose fitting. Right here. This was just, uh, just came loose from go, probably going up and down. So it's all fixed up. Yep. Don't you like it when it's the easy fixes? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, see, see you next week. See you, buddy. All right, headed up to the farm to load up my stuff. I'm gonna be out for about seven days doing a YouTube tour. And so I've got, I've got more than just my guns. Uh, I got my clothes and stuff. I'm gonna go load them up. Then I'm gonna wash the bus, be ready to rock and roll. All right, got the bus shined up. People always come out here and they're like, why are you washing the bus? Is this gonna get dirty? Is this gonna get snow on it? And when we leave, it's gonna rain. It'll probably rain as soon as I pull out of here. The reason I do that, for one, it's not just Granger's bus, it's got my name on it. But it's Granger's bus. No matter what we're doing, we should always come in looking good. I never leave the farm 99% of the time without the bus being washed. Even if that just means me scrubbing it by hand, you know, I don't take it anywhere. There's not a blue beacon near here or anything. So we got to do it by hand. That's why I'm out of breath because I just spent two hours mopping, spraying, mopping, spraying, mopping, spraying to make them look beautiful like that. I'd rather be the guy that gets singled out for going way too far, cleaning it when he doesn't need to. It's my time. I just do it because of pride. I'd rather be singled out as the crazy guy that does way more than he needs to 
than be singled out for the guy that just doesn't do, doesn't care, doesn't want to touch it. Does the bare minimum, turns the steering wheel, gets paid, turns the steering wheel, goes to a hotel, turns the steering wheel. I do way more than that. Butch does way more than that. We take pride in what we do. And that's why we're not even going to a show. We are taking it out on the road for a little bit, but I shined it up because I'm gonna represent Granger and myself, Risky Business, Yee Apparel, all of them. We're gonna roll up looking, looking sharp. That's it for this episode of Risky Business. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and everything you ever need to know about this channel is always linked in the description below. We hope you enjoyed it. Deuces!